What's up and welcome back to another video. Today we will be ranking every single legendary pistol in Borderlands 2 from worst to best. My personal opinion, pistols are the, one of the most powerful weapon types inside of Borderlands 2, whether it be submachine guns, sniper rifles, or even assault rifles. In my opinion, I honestly think that pistols outpower them all. And with that little introduction, let's get on to the video. Let's start off with number nine. Coming in at our number nine spot, we have none other than everyone's favorite pistol in the game, the Gub. Where to even begin with the bandit pistol that can be attained from Laney White inside the fridge. Man oh man, this pistol is one pile of shit. If I'm being completely honest with you, none of you should ever attempt to farm this pistol. So if you guys don't know the gub, it can only come in one element, and that is corrosive. And now that, if that doesn't put a downturn on the weapon enough, I don't know what does, because corrosive can only be used in very minimal situations and on such a garbage weapon like this where really the only good thing about the gub is its massive ass magazine which i don't know why you'd want a pistol slash light machine gun variant who wants that absolutely nobody now with that being said the gun isn't like the worst in the game by any means but it is definitely the worst and weakest legendary pistol so that is why it is in last place Coming in at our number 8 spot, we have none other than, in my personal opinion, the most overrated gun in Borderlands 2, the Infinity Pistol. Now this gun, it gets hyped up a lot, but just because, one reason. Let me tell you why the Infinity Pistol is where it is today. Let me tell you, because it has infinite ammo. Wow. But no one realizes that the gun is honestly kind of garbage. The damage is not that great. Sure, it can take out mobs just fine. Normal ads and easy skags, psychos, things of that nature, bots, loaders, whatever. And even some bosses like the Veracitus glitch and etc. The Infinity Pistol, it has its uses. But in my opinion, it's super overrated. The damage is nothing special. The only thing cool about it is that it has infinite ammo. Like I said, Wow. After so many years, the lore of infinite ammo starts to wear off and you realize that the gun really isn't that good. And the upsides, the reason why I put it above the gov is because you can actually get this one in different elements, which does put it miles ahead of the gov. Also, the fire rate is much better. The damage is also much, much better. And with that being said, I think I've talked about the infinity pistol enough. Coming in at our number seven spot, we have Hector's Paradise. Now, if you guys do not know, this is the latest legendary pistol to be added into Borderlands 2, added back with the Commander Lilith's Fight for Sanctuary DLC. It can be attained in an easy mission that you can get in the Scarab Research Center. If you guys do not know, you gotta run around and pick up a couple of Echo Logs. It is very simple. You turn it in, you get the weapon. Now, if you guys cannot tell by the gameplay, it is an exact clone of a legendary that you all already know and love. The Hornet. That's right. Who would have seen it coming? Thanks a lot, Gearbox. You really screwed this one up again. Now, I honestly am a big defender of the Hector's Paradise, and I honestly think it is a pretty decent weapon. It is not the best in the game. It is not the most powerful. But in the first two playthroughs, it does very, very well. Now, as to why you would go into the Fight for Sanctuary DLC in normal mode, I don't know. But for true Vault Hunter mode, you definitely, definitely could. I find the Hector's Paradise to be a little bit underrated, but at the end of the day, it really is just a Hornet with less projectiles, and it also is locked with a bayonet attachment, which, you know, who who's playing melee characters these days? I'm just kidding about what I said about the melee characters, obviously, but in all seriousness, locking just a bayonet on the weapon, not giving us any other prefixes like the damage prefix or the twin prefix like the hornet can get severely severely is a disadvantage all right enough talking about the knockoff hornet let's go ahead and move on to our number six spot coming in at our number six spot we have the gunnerang yes i know a lot of you probably think this weapon is a pile of shit and i'm going to tell you why it is not as garbage as you might think but in my opinion it is a little bit garbage i'm not a big fan of this gun but i do have to put it above some of the other pistols on the list and i'm going to go ahead and tell you why now the reason reason why a lot of you probably don't know that the gunner ring is as good as it is and that is because of one person and that is explosive axton now if you guys do not know he heavily 
can increase the TDR's explosive damage slash reloads. So really the idea is that you just want to shoot one bullet, then go ahead and throw your TDR weapon at the enemy. The explosive damage really doubles, triples, quadruples, and even times by 10 at some point when you use explosive axton. It is absolutely crazy the numbers that you could do while throwing baby makers and gunner rings. Now, I haven't even played explosive axton myself. I have only seen the videos. I have seen the proof that the gunner ring is a tank of weapon. I have seen bosses be taken down with the gunner ring. So that is why I'm going to have to defend it. It also can come in any element. And I want to go ahead and explain how you guys are going to want to get the gunner ring. You guys are going to want to go to the same place that you did for Laney White. And you guys are going to want to run through there and go all the way up to the Rackman's cave and take on the Rackman. He will drop you the gunner ring. Now, in my opinion, the gunner ring was an underdog coming into today's list. And it sitting at the number six spot is honestly pretty humbling in my opinion. Coming in at our number five spot, we have none other than the Thunderball Fist. Now this pistol, in my personal opinion, is pretty damn underrated, and it is honestly one of the most badass guns in the game. Now if you guys do not know, when you shoot this thing, it will send off a nice little blast radius of a shock ball, like a little like explosion, and it's kind of crazy because it'll double, even triple sometimes. But the Thunderball Fist, it can be acquired from Captain Flint and also the son of Captain Flint which is Sparky Flint in case you guys didn't know in the Wham Bam Island. This pistol is pretty damn rare from Captain Flint at least in my experience. I don't get it very often from him so I'd recommend Sparky Flint if you guys are going to want to farm for the Thunderball Fist because I mean this thing is a beast of a pistol. I don't really know what else to say about the Thunderball Fist. I mean the skin is pretty sick and I mean overall it's just a little bit better than average. Coming in at our number four spot we have the pistol manufactured by jacobs yes it is one of the most legendary pistols in the game the maggie now this is really one of my favorite guns in the game this is probably my second favorite pistol in the entire game now let me tell you why the maggie has one distinct advantage over a lot of the other weapons in this category where it is the easiest legendary to get in the game now if you guys do not know if you use the fast travel and go to lynchwood and then run over and travel through the train to the dust you guys will have the quickest farm for the maggie and the quickest legendary farm in the game not only that but this weapon will let you fire it as fast as you can pull the trigger as that is the entire Jacob's gimmick, which I think has always been a really fun part of Borderlands 2. The Maggie is just a beast of a pistol and all the different prefixes you can get on it also do help. And to wrap up the Maggie really quickly, I gotta go ahead and talk about the look of it because it is just a beautiful pistol. Um, purple is one of my favorite colors, so I mean, no real argument there for me. Coming in at our number three spot, I'm sure a lot of you expected to see this gun a lot lower just because of its damage potential, but for one reason and one reason only is it in the number three spot. The Logan's Gun. The Logan's Gun is the best utility item in the game. In terms of legendaries, it is the best utility weapon. That's just facts, ladies and gentlemen. It is just 100% the truth and the truth will set you free if you guys do not know if you have the sham or any shield with any sort of absorb chance on it and you shoot this weapon at your feet you will absorb rocket launcher ammunition which cost a shit ton of money in ultimate vault hunter mode if you're telling me that doesn't help you more than most of these other pistols that are above it then you are absolutely insane pal because without the logan's gun you would be broke in Borderlands 2. So, I'm not even going to talk about the Logan's Gun any further. If you want to argue with me, do it in the comments below and I will reply. Coming in at our number two spot, we have none other than the very first legendary that you can acquire inside of Borderlands 2, and that is the Hornet. Now, unlike the Hector's Paradise, this one can actually spawn with multiple different prefixes and if you guys do not know it can be acquired from knuckle dragger the very first boss in the game which makes it very unique and very easy to get honestly one of the biggest downfalls of it is that it is locked to one element just like the hector's paradise that we talked about earlier on the hornet is locked to only a corrosive element the hornet can melt 
through bots and loaders, which helped you a lot through the Digistruct Peak, which is one thing that I really do like it for. In my personal opinion, it being so easy to farm, it really does help me get through the overpowered levels a lot quicker. So thank God for the Hornet, because if, if I didn't have it, I don't know if I would have gotten to OP8 back when that was the max, or even OP10 now. Coming in at our number one spot, we have Predictable, Predictable, the Unkempt Herald. Everyone's favorite pistol, let's go ahead and talk about the Torg pistol, which you can acquire in the Three Horns Divide from Savage Lee. And, and if you guys want to hear me discuss and analyze whether or not it is easy to get, there will be a link in the description to the video. Now this pistol, we gotta go ahead and just mention the double penetrating prefix, which is the most powerful prefix on the pistol, if you guys are not aware. From a meme to the most overpowered thing in the game, is what I like to call it, because it sounds like a joke, but it's not. This is seriously the most overpowered prefix any weapon has ever had in the Borderlands franchise. It doesn't just double, it doesn't just triple, it times your damage by about 5, 6, maybe even 7. The Unkempt Herald goes from being a beast to pretty much a monster that could pretty much eat your entire house within 4 or 5 bites. What more is there to say about the Unkempt Herald? I think you guys really do know it all. Also, the double chance of Savage Lee and the Three Orange Divide is really cool. You can also get it from the Torg vendors as well. With that being said, what would you guys like to see me rank from worst to best next? And that will do it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Maybe smash a like on it since you guys sat through this entire video. And I will see you guys next time.